All right, in this video, we're gonna look a little bit at vertical scrolling and vertical scaling cards based off of an animation using BG Scroll. I have a three screen set up here. Right now I'm on my second screen and I'm gonna slide slowly to my first screen and I want you to see what happens to these three cards that we have here. Sliding slowly, notice the blue is scaling out, the green is scrolling up, the orange is scrolling up, and we have revealed a purple one at the bottom. Going back to screen two, that animation reverses. And now going over to screen three slowly, notice a red one's getting revealed, the blue one's going down, the green one is going down and scaling, and then the orange one is going down slightly. Going back to our center screen. And what we have here, this is a template, and you can get this template for free from my free wallpapers folder in my KOWP free stuff. Look for vertical cards toot. Three screen setup. Now this is made on a Galaxy Note 8. The aspect ratio is different than the typical 16 by nine. So you may have to adjust some of the BG scrolls, but the rectangle sizes should be pretty consistent because I'm using the screen height and I'm finding a fourth of my screen height to get some of these smaller ones. And I'm using half of my screen height to get this bigger card that we have here. You may have to adjust some of the speeds. I have not tested this on a 16 by nine aspect ratio device. But let me show you a few things you can tweak and some of the basics of the BG scroll. I have this set up such that you can look for the color card that you wanna edit and you can put items inside of the overlap group. Let me go to this red overlap group right here. Now we don't see the red overlap group right now, but there it is on the third screen. It's a red rectangle. The width of this rectangle is the width of my screen. The height of this red rectangle is half of my screen's height. You'll notice that once you get this template and you open up some of these overlap groups, some of the shapes may have a little bit more math added on to the end, maybe plus 10 or something like that. I've only done that for some of the shapes so that I can get a little bit of overlap. Like this blue one, for example, is technically overlapping the red one. I did that so that I have a nice clean line between the blue and the red and we don't see any of the background. Now, if you use this template, do not remove the shape. You can remove the text. If you want to get rid of the shape, don't throw it away. Just change the color to transparent because this shape is serving as the container, if you will, inside of that overlap group so that you can start positioning items inside of here. So again, do not get rid of the shape, set the color to transparent, and then start putting items inside of that red overlap group. And then when you start animating, whatever was in that red overlap group is gonna slide right off the screen as well. Some other things that we can do to have a little bit of fun with this, I'm gonna go to this red rectangle that I'm still inside of. I'm gonna go over to FX, I'm gonna change its texture to bitmap, and I'm going to make this red rectangle an image. So now we have made that red rectangle an image of Stranger Things. I got this image off of the Zedge app that you can get on the Google Play Store. And I think it would be ideal for Stranger Things for this image to be rotated 180 degrees. For those of you that watch Stranger Things, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, for this red overlap group that now has the Stranger Things image inside of it, and that image should be clear on the home screen. Yeah, it's just fine there. But anyway, back to that red overlap group. It's animation. I just have it simply BG scroll. I have it set to scroll, and I'm not even going to try to explain how to work with these rules and the center. To get it to do what I want it to do, I have the animation in my head, and I play with different combinations of rules and different combinations of centers to make the animation work the way I want it to work. I cannot quite wrap my head around how those things work because sometimes I'm thinking I have it figured out and then I'll set a rule a certain way and I'll set the center a certain way and it doesn't do what I think it should do. So I'm sorry, just play around with different combinations. You have the animation that you want to happen in your head, play around with the rule, play around with the center to achieve that animation. The speed here, I have it set to 200. You may have to fine tune that depending on your device screen. Again, I have not tested this on a 16 by nine device. And your angle here, you can adjust that if you want to move up, down, left, right, or kind of diagonal, that's where you can adjust that based on BG scroll. So I'm gonna back out of that one and I'm gonna to go to another overlap group, the green one that we don't see right now but now we do. The green one is doing quite a bit actually. Right now the green's right there. Let me go to its shape. Notice its height is one fourth of my screen's height plus 10. I want a little bit of overlap so I can have those clean lines. The position of this entire green overlap group, I do have it moved slightly down 
one fourth of my screen's height and then I have minus 10, that's giving me a little bit of that overlap again. You may have to adjust some of these numbers, but it's really just minute tuning. You shouldn't have to do anything major. And for the animation, check out what this green group is doing. This green group is actually, if I go to screen one, it moves up to the top. If I go to screen two, it kind of goes back to its standard position, if you will. And then when I go to screen three, it's moving down and it's scaling out at the same time. Now for this to happen, I had to actually add three different BG scroll animations. So I encourage you to open those up, look at the rules, look at the centers, look at the speeds of some of these. I had to fine tune them. You know, you would think 150 would work, but 149 actually worked better on my device. It prevents the background from getting shown. Scale out vertical. Now the anchor, I did not mess around with the anchor here, but again, play around with the rules and the centers. But that's how we are getting that green right here. As you can see, that green is scaling as I go between screen number two and screen number three. Let me back out one more time and let me show you the purple one. The purple one that gets revealed back on screen one, so it's going to pop up right now. That one is scaling. Again, put whatever you want inside of this overlap group. Delete the text if you want, but keep that shape there. Make the color transparent if you don't want it, but that shape serves as the container that you can start putting things inside of that overlap group. It's just one animation for this purple overlap group and it is scale out vertical. And what I wanted to point out here is that the anchor is at the module bottom. That's how I'm able to anchor it at the bottom of that purple group and it's technically scaling out from the bottom as you can see right there. And again, just play around with that rule and center, but the way this one's set up right now, the only thing you should have to adjust in this template, obviously add your own stuff into it, maybe tweak the positions, maybe tweak some of the speeds, depending on the aspect ratio of your device. And there you have it, a free template of vertical scaling and sliding cards, a three screen setup. Feel free to pick it up from my free wallpapers folder, which is inside of my free KOWP stuff. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.